dying machine. People said that the marches didn't stop anything in Iraq, didn't stop the war. You know, Fox News, nah, nah, nah. Clear Channel, calling out the thousands, you know, the seven guys who came out to protest for the war. So who's winning this war? Any, any, any nominees? Bechtel, I heard. Halliburton, yeah, that's a good one. Al-Qaeda, right? They're doing, they seem to be on an upswing. So who's winning this war? Do not fight for a dying machine. It is not worth your life. During Gulf War I, when we basically had no protests, and they had high-level bombing of southern Iraq as people were fleeing Basra, you know, the, you know, the kids and grandma and the cat and the, and the family Volkswagen and Fiat's miles of cars incinerated. A hundred thousand people, according to Norman Schwarzkopf, looks like burnt to death, okay? It didn't happen this time. It didn't happen there because people were in the streets here. And you're watching, see? It doesn't stop. Much is accomplished, much is left to be done. Do not fight for a dying machine. It is not worth your life. And they said, well, Mr. Pallas, don't be ridiculous. We don't sneak it up to the beach. We reconfigured the torpedoes. We can put in nine Marines and... I don't make this stuff. Um, our president thought this was so neat. At a billion and a half dollars a boat, he's ordered three dozen. So we know who's winning the war. Do not fight for a dying machine. It is not worth your life.